Hi, and thanks for joining me for 10 of the most scenically breathtaking natural springs in the world. What is a spring? A spring is a point where the aquifer surface meets the ground surface. The flow of the spring depends on the constancy of the water source. The flow of the springs causes minerals in the water source to dissolve. Water will swiftly flow under the rocks. The spring water tends to pick up flavors and carbon dioxide, which cause the rapid bubbles. However, this process depends on the nearby geology. Brown water tends to maintain a relatively long-term average temperature of its aquifer, so flow from a spring may be cooler than a summer day, but remain unfrozen in the winter. The cool water of a spring and its branch may harbor species such as certain trout that are otherwise ill-suited for a warmer local climate. Water emanating from the karst topography is another type of spring, often called a resurgence, as much of the water may come from one or more sinkholes at a higher altitude. Karst springs generally are not subjected to as great a degree of ground filtering as spring water, which may have continuously passed through soils or a porous aquifer. In the past, hot springs were honored as spiritual sites by Native Americans. These springs originate from deep inside the earth and are said to cure and aid certain ailments. Our first stop is Strawberry Springs, located seven miles from Steamboat Springs and nestled between Rocky Peak and Copper Ridge. The water from the springs usually trickles down the hillside at approximately 150 degrees before it enters the stream. The largest pool is kept at 104 degrees, while the smaller of the cells are cooler due to geothermal venting. Kraus Springs is located 34 miles from Austin, Texas, and is known to be the most prevalent in the state. The springs are a compilation of two separate cells that overlook Cypress Creek. The lower levels are adorned with cypress trees and waterfalls, which made it a spiritual place by the native Indians. The site is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Two springs feed the 70 by 20 swimming pool at a rate of 70 gallons a minute at a temperature of about 70 degrees. Crab Cooker Hot Springs, which overlooks the beautiful Eastern Sierras, is a spring that is located in one of the highly popular camping and backpacking areas. It's quite shallow, but big enough for several people, and the scenery that surrounds the bathing area is spectacular. Wakiva Springs, one of my favorite places to call home. The Wakiva Springs is located in Longwood, Florida, where the Tamukan Indians fished and hunted for years. These thermal springs are fed by five diverse sources, while the fish come directly from the springs into two large cells. The thermal water flows at a rate of 130 liters per second, with a daily capacity of 5,760 people. The temperature is usually kept around 72 degrees, which at times could feel like bathing in ice cubes. These healing waters contain calcium, sodium, magnesium, fluorine, and carbon dioxide, which can cure neurological disorders, arthritis, and skin deficiencies. Banjar Hot Springs. The Banjar is located in Bali and not too far down the road from the only Buddhist monastery in the area. These hot springs are marvelously landscaped with tropical plants. Being they are proven to help with ailments and spiritual clarity, local residents and tourists are urged to spend a couple hours a day relaxing to soothe the soul and clear the mind. These healing waters contain calcium, sodium, magnesium, chlorine, carbon dioxide, and potassium, which create a milky appearance that coats the skin like lotion. Onsan in Nachikatsura, the Onsan Spring in Japan located on the premises of the Nakushima Hotel, the island has six different hot springs with high sulfur content, and this is just one of them. The spring is said to aid in the healing process of arthritis, female infertility, gout, and rheumatism. The Chena Hot Springs, which is located northeast of Fairbanks, Alaska, near the Chena River State Recreation Area. This resort is revolutionary, and it's using the first low-temperature binary geothermal plant built in Alaska to explore alternative energy sources. The Blue Lagoon is one of Iceland's most inevitable attractions. 
The lagoon uses geothermal seawater that is scientifically known to clear the complexion and aid in healthy skin. Superheated water is vented from the ground near a lava flow and used to run turbines that generate electricity. After going through the turbines, the steam and hot water passes through a heat exchanger to provide heat for a municipal hot water heating system. The water temperature in the bathing and swimming area remains an average of 40 degrees Celsius, which is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Gemini Springs. According to Roussinel, in 1977, the small spring was originally just a seep that was deepened by a well 100 feet deep. Hydrostatic pressure caused the well to flow, creating what looks like a natural spring today. All three springs have relatively high salt content. Gemini Springs was a great place of commerce and government during the early days of the Florida frontier and the city of DeBerry. In the 1800s, farming of citrus, timber, and the tapping of longleaf pine trees for turpentine were of great importance on the land. During the turn of the century, John H. Pageant constructed an estate near the entrance of the springs where his family raised cattle and grew sugar, operating a cane press and selling sugar juice to passengers on the trains as they passed by. Our last stop is Mammoth Hot Springs which is most famous for its terraces. The mammoth hot springs are continuously changing. As cells grow, water is forced to flow in different directions, and the constant changes create a living sculpture made from heat, water, limestone, and rock fractures. The colors are derived from natural living organisms attaching themselves to the side of the terraces. I thank you for joining me for 10 of the most breathtakingly scenic springs in the world. Thank you.